Well, a Spanaway grandmother with a shotgun took matters into her own hands on Sunday when she caught someone breaking into her home. And Cairo 7's Jessica O oh is live in Tacoma tonight. Jessica, her quick thinking led to the suspect's arrest. I'm going to guess she's pretty tough, too. Monique and Pierce County deputies tell us that they are very surprised by the way they found this suspect who seemed terrified after being held at gunpoint by the homeowner who happens to be a 78 year old grandmother. Tonight she walked us through exactly what happened. At the moment I was scared to death. You know, I really was. Sandy from Spanaway knew something was wrong when Boo Boo started barking nonstop Sunday night. The next thing the grandma knew, she was face to face with someone breaking in. I opened my door and standing right two feet from me was a man and we looked at each other for a few minutes and he turned and started to leave and I said oh no you don't you stay right there and I reached over and got my shotgun and I cocked it and I told him to stay right there because he was going to turn and walk away told him to go out sit on the steps I followed him out and when he got to the bottom step I told him to sit down and I just stood here with the shotgun waiting for the police to come. The 78 year old wasn't about to let him get away. Her neighborhood's been plagued by car prowls lately. Sandy says she's had enough. I was totally calm, really and truly. I thought this is this is amazing. I said, you know, I've got grandchildren your age. And the grandmother asked why he broke in, alarmed by some of his answers. He said, well, you know, I was really hoping to get laid. That perked my ears up. That made me think, oh my God. Pierce County deputies came and arrested the suspect and say it's thanks to Sandy's quick thinking and bold actions. She's just grateful no one was hurt. After he was so meek and mild and sat down like I told him to do, empowering. I felt like, you know, at least I was in charge. I wasn't, I wasn't afraid. But in many ways, this incident was so bizarre that Sandy felt certain that the suspect could have been on drugs. But after deputies talked to him, they said he showed no signs of impairment or distress, and they let him go because the homeowner didn't want to press any charges. For now, reporting live in Tacoma, Jessica O, Cairo 7 News. She certainly has a way with words, doesn't she? <laughs> New documents show.